This is the Weather Extreme video for Thursday, the 20th of May. Very active convection northwest of Alabama. Will we see some of that around here before the weekend gets here? Let's see. We'll talk about it. Nice to see a little bit of daylight out there. This is the uh, Skycam Network this morning. First off, coming from Decatur up in the Tennessee Valley. That image captured at 5 a.m. And uh, we'll get more daylight until the uh, summer solstice about one month away. And after that, the days begin to get shorter in terms of the number of daylight hours. There's the Trustville Sky Cam looking to the southeast from Chalkville Mountain Road. Again, sky mostly fair there and up in Gadsden. Nice and cool there this morning. Readings are in the 50s, and that's looking right at downtown Gadsden. Got a big MCS, Mesoscale Convective System, coming out of the uh, Plain States. Had some more rough weather in Oklahoma yesterday and last night. Seems like most of the tornadoes were over open country, rural areas, so not a lot of damage reported. But around here, things are nice. Uh, cooler readings on the eastern side of the state. Gadsden, 54. That's the cool spot. 59 for Anniston and Alex City. And then you got mostly low and mid-60s on the western side of the state. Flash flood watches. Large chunk of Arkansas, Missouri. Look at all the warnings. The, the counties with dots in them, those are counties under flash flood warnings over Arkansas. And there's a bunch. And then on the south uh, flank of that, you got a severe thunderstorm watch until 9 o'clock this morning for parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, northeastern Texas. And that's the uh, part of the MCS that could produce still some strong winds down through there. Rest of today and tonight, there's the uh, convective outlook, the standard slight risk all the way from uh, really near Tuscaloosa and Muscle Shoals back over into central Texas. The higher probabilities are centered west of here, and I really think that's where the main chance of severe weather will be, from Jackson back over toward uh, uh, the eastern part of Dallas-Fort Worth. And there could be a strong storm tonight, but the uh, odds of a big severe weather problem are fairly small. Uh, tomorrow, no uh, formal risk, just the low-end 5% probabilities just north of here. And on day three, which is Saturday, a small slight risk way up north. Here's the QPF chart, the overall rain for the next five days, valid through Monday evening at 7 o'clock. And again, the amounts taper off from north to south. The amounts up on the Tennessee border, about one inch. You go down to Montgomery and point south, barely enough to measure down there. And uh, again, uh, no doubt the heavier rains will be near the Tennessee border. Let's take a look at modeling here. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. And there's your short wave to the west. And down below that at midday today, the most active convection should stay just west of here. Arkansas, West Tennessee, Mississippi. But some of that could nose into a northwest Alabama this afternoon. This is a look at tonight just after midnight at 1 a.m. Showing a band of showers and thunderstorms in here. And uh, no doubt we'll, we'll certainly mention that in the forecast, a uh, chance of showers and storms tonight and then tomorrow the surface low is weakening and drifting north and again there is some moisture axis here and that would suggest a chance of scattered showers and storms during the day we'll go down to the higher resolution rpm if you have something planned outdoors and you can see how you know it's kind of scattered not raining everywhere this is valid at uh, uh, four o'clock tomorrow afternoon so tonight and tomorrow uh, scattered showers and storms around and there could be a strong storm in spots but uh, don't expect any organized severe weather. And then Saturday, we start to dry out as the system continues to move away from us and a ridge begins to build in. So uh, just a slight chance of an afternoon shower, nothing more than that. In Sunday, the ridge takes over with, in response to a big trough out west. And down below that, I'm beginning to think we can pretty much take out that chance of a shower Sunday. That looks awfully warm, maybe a 90, 91, 92. It'll feel like summer. And Monday of next week, same thing. Uh, the chance of a shower, awfully small. Now, I should be up around 90, just like summertime. Tuesday of next week, same deal. Wednesday, you get the idea next week will be just like a, a June week, maybe, instead of a May week. But then again, this is the last week of May, so it's pretty appropriate. Week from today, Thursday, ridging over the east trough way out west, and again, uh, That'll be pretty warm and pretty muggy with just a small chance of a shower. Into the forecast on June 4th, 588 Ridge, warm ridge over the Gulf Coast. Shortwave action to the north, and accordingly, most of the rain stays to the north. 
That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you are local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.